Welcome to Thrive with Meghan and Harry. We bring you news, views, and commentary about Harry and Meghan. Let's thrive together, guys. Hi, guys. Hope you're all doing well out there. We've got a lot to discuss, so let's get started, guys. So, we found out yesterday that the Queen and the Royal Family were finally, finally stripping Andy of his military titles and his HRH titles, etc. All the ti all the things that they went ahead and stripped Harry of without even a second thought, guys. Even a second thought. They went ahead and stripped both Harry and Meghan of their patronages and their affiliations with all these charities, etc. And it ended up that the charities even tried to request that Harry and Meghan could stay on. And in some cases, Harry and Meghan did stay on in their own capacity, not as, not as royals, but as their own entity. Isn't it funny that it took a judge saying that Andrew has to stand trial? And we all know the horrendous allegations that Andrew is being accused with, right? We all know. And I won't say it here because YouTube is very strict. And if you say one word out of place, your video gets demonetized, which actually happened to a couple of my videos, guys, so far. Can you believe that? And I'm not the only one. It seems that we, the positive channels, are, we are held to a higher standard on here than the hater channels, apparently. They are so strict with us that if you slip up and you say one word, your whole video gets demonetized. And it's just that simple. So bear with me and I won't be getting into too much detail about Andy's charges, but you know exactly what they are, right? <clears throat> but like I was saying, it took a judge and some horrendous allegations in order for Andy to face the same outcomes that Harry and Meghan faced for basically just deciding that they wanted to leave and start their own lives away from the toxic environment of the royal family. I find it funny in watching and reporting of Andy finally losing his titles and his HRH titles, I find that these reporters are having to face something. And that is the overreaction to Harry and Meghan leaving and the complete hypocrisy of the royal family and the way they treated Harry and Meghan like if they were criminals, basically. But when it comes to Andy, it took a judge for them to finally throw the book at Andy. Isn't that unbelievable, guys? Isn't it unbelievable? I think these people, and especially the royal family, owe Prince Harry an apology for the way he was treated. <clears throat> and isn't it funny that the opposite happened for Harry? Basically, the military had to write letters and petitions to the family in order for them to understand that they didn't want Andrew affiliated with them any longer. The military had to show them what hypocrites they were being by keeping Andrew in, that, in, in those roles which the military didn't want him in, basically. <clears throat> But when it came to Harry, it was the complete opposite. The military had to write letters requesting that Harry keep his affiliations with the, with the military. Isn't that interesting? All this is showing us is just how unfair and just harsh the royal family and the queen were towards Harry. That's precisely what, what this tells me. <clears throat> and guys, I apologize. I have a kind of a scratchy throat right now i apologize anyways <laughs> so guys when i when i say that the royal family owe harry and Meghan an apology it's not that harry and Meghan care or even need an apology it's about how it looks to the rest of the world basically and the way the media and the royal family have tried to damage harry and Meghan's name when you look at the contrast to how andrew was treated and basically given the benefit of the doubt until the very last minute it just shows how the how the how what a, what a bunch of hypocrites um they all are honestly speaking and another thing i can't stand that every 5 minutes you see that 
Camilla Tomini and that Russell Myers continuously equating Harry and Meghan to somebody who is accused of horrible things. Why do they always do that? Do, don't they realize that we can see the, the two situations and realize that they are not the same? Why does Camilla Tomini and Russell Myers, must Russell Myers continuously try to lump Harry and Meghan into the category with, with Andrew, right? Why do they do that? Listen, sorry, Camilla and Russell, but we don't see people accused of that P word, you know, that big P word. We don't, we don't see those people as the same as a couple who are just trying to live their lives and are accused of nothing. They are not accused of anything. But yet, these two keep trying to equate Harry and Meghan with, with this, um, with this um, Randy Andy. Why are they doing that? I, I just, I don't understand. It's getting really annoying and I hate to see it. Either way, guys, thanks so much for joining me. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And listen, guys, we've got over 1,600 subscribers now. Isn't that amazing? And we are aiming for 2,000. So if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Just, just subscribe and let, let us get to our target, right? And thanks so much if you sent any super chats to support our channel. Thanks so much for that. And thanks so much if you've decided to join our channel. Shouts out to channel member Lydia Washington. She is so amazing, guys. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, my God. Remember that Megan said it's not enough to just survive something. That's not the point of life. You have to thrive. You've got to feel happy. Unquote. And that's what Megan said. Okay. And, um... Yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you guys always coming through, as I always say. And um, let me see. I did have two, two super chats yesterday that I wanted to make sure that I thank. Um, and I'm going to have to get those names. And uh I'm looking to see if I see them here. Um, I'm trying to see if I see them on. It was right because he's young. Um, oops. <laughs> I apologize about that. Um, I'm trying to see if I can see the super chats, but you know what? I am going to make sure that I thank each and every one of the super chats um i'm gonna write them down next time and then i'll know exactly who it was um i yeah so i i don't want to guess but i'm gonna write it down i know there was two super chats and i definitely will um uh, make sure i um write them down and then i'll thank you for the with the um in the next episode and i appreciate it so much and uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching thank you bye